Spartans used to have the bragging rights in this fixture, but that's no longer the case. Hearts have won the last two meetings, including a 4-3 win at Ainsley Park. Ava Oled makes two changes from the side that beat Motherwell 3-0 two weeks ago. Megan Bell and Danny Finlay come in for the Jambos. Jack Beasley names his first ever Spartans 11. Tegan Browning, Alana Marshall and Mia Bates come into the side that lost 5-1 to Glasgow City a fortnight ago. Hunter looking for Timms. She shrugs off the Spartans defender and rolls inside. This is brilliant from Timms, but Alicia Yates makes a good save to deny the heart striker. Marshall caught on the ball. Another chance for Timms. Yates makes the save. A battle is brewing between those two already. Alicia Yates coming out on top so far. Georgia Tim's not far away though. Grant with the corner. Tim's at the front post, flicked on. Waldy off the post and Alicia Yates gathers. Hart inching closer to the opener. Findlay does well to find Emma Brownlee. Just back to the striker. She plays it through for Lockwood. Off the post. And Tegan Browning just about gets it away. Hunter trying the direct approach to Timms. That's a fantastic ball. Timms lets it bounce. And it just got too far away from her. Seven goals so far this season. She hasn't added to it today. Lockwood clips in, Waldy headed into the ground and off the bar, Waldy off the woodwork again. The free kick goes to Spartans, Girasoli with a high boot. Waldy clipping over the top, looking for Lockwood, it comes all the way through. She tried the chip and it just didn't work. Hearts top scorer this season, not on target that time. Grant with the delivery, into the front post again, Tim's going for it, Alicia Yates eventually gathers, Hearts have come so close, but they still can't break the rear guard. Waldy tries that long ball over the top again, oh it's bouncing around the Spartans area, and there's Katie Lockwood to lash home. Oh, forget your cute finishes. Katie Lockwood put everything behind that. Hey, come on, come on. And that is the strike that could give Hearts the win. Katie Lockwood finally putting Hearts ahead at the Orium. With their 14th goal of the season. And Hearts will surely make it four wins from five. Yeah, it's that game that you dominate, but you are not clinical. Well, we had three posts, like... It's a game that could be three for nil in the half time and was nil nil. But still we keep dominating in the second half and the goal arrive. When you're near the bottom of the league and you haven't been winning matches, obviously everyone lacks a bit of confidence and plays with a little bit of fear. So I think the main thing for us is to try and remove some of that fear. Um, and confidence is, you know, it's a fragile thing both ways. It can go quite easily, but it can also come quite easily. So if we do win a game in the near future and we win a game well, that can make a massive difference, and who knows, you might then win a second or a third and all. Before, before you know it, everyone's suddenly got a completely different mindset.